So I'm really highlighting on purpose and trying to find your own purpose isn't always easy. And sometimes the best way to actually start doing all this work is to highlight the barriers finding your very own purpose. So barriers means what stops us from finding it. I think that's probably one of the best uh, bits of uh, personal development work that you can ever really do, especially if you want to take on this type of work. So what is it barrier-wise that stops you from finding purpose? I've always felt that my very own barriers were impacted by culture and my family's expectations, which I'll get into next. These expectations are a huge barrier to finding purpose. Finding my very own meaning and what matters to me was very, very difficult as I decided to transition. So I chose this work. I found that my barriers, what I'd actually created for myself from growing up, and this is where we're talking about an enmeshment and we're going into some of the things that we may have encountered in phase one, is, is actually finding your barriers to finding purpose. So it's really, um, we all have different barriers, but you'll find um, that when you grow awareness of what those barriers are, you actually can um, overcome those barriers by providing insights, which is what we've been talking about before, and therefore it speeds the process along. So uh, if you're having issues finding purpose, you might have hidden barriers that you might need to explore within who you are do some inner world work and find those barriers to actually overcome them, provide insights and move move forward or move sideways, whatever term you want to put on it. Really, really important is to highlight those barriers. Um, so you may not be always be aware of them, but just learning to grow that awareness is really key to any of this work. Okay, so awareness is really, really key and feedback is key as well, but we'll get to that later learn to find those barriers and provide insights into those barriers.